How's it going everybody? My name is Lucky Buns, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you all of the new throwing styles and league room redesigns in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the Indigo Disc. Now for some reason Game Freak decided to show the previews after you purchase them so I decided to put this video together for anybody who just needs a reference before dropping their hard earned blueberry points on these styles and designs. So we're just going to go through this one by one, timestamps are going to be in the description down below if you guys want to check out any specific styles, but let's go through this starting off with the original style. So that's the original style, the one that we've been using for pretty much the entirety of the game. Next up, let's take a look at the left-handed style. This one is pretty much just going to be a reverse of the original, just if you're left-handed. It does actually look a little bit different though. Let's take a look at the Reverence style next. So this one just looks like you're throwing with both hands. I'm pretty sure we've seen a few trainers use this one. We're just going to call this one the two-handed throw. Next up, let's take a look at the Dainty style. So this throw is basically just like an underhand throw. Now for these next throws that I'm about to go over, these ones do have to be purchased. For the Twirling and Ninja styles, you're going to have to pay 150 Blueberry Points. For the Smug and Elegant styles, you're going to have to pay 150 Blueberry Points as well. And then after you bought both of those styles, or I guess all four of those styles, you can unlock the Galarian Star style for 200 Blueberry Points. And then if I didn't mention this already, to change each throwing style, it's just going to be 10 Blueberry Points. So it's really not that expensive, but obviously you don't want to waste them if you don't have to. So let's go ahead and start off by looking at the Smug style first. This is actually one of my favorites. It's a really cool throwing style in my opinion. Next up, let's take a look at the Elegant style. Twirling style is going to be coming up next. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Ninja style. Eh, that's not too bad. Don't know how I feel about it completely. Now we can finally take a look at the Galarian Star style. Now for those who don't know, this is actually Champion Leon's throwing style from uh, Sword and Shield, so it's pretty cool and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to use this one. It's a pretty enthusiastic throwing style if I do say so myself. But yeah, that's basically going to be every single different throwing style. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which ones you guys like the most and uh, which ones you like the least. But now with that being said, let's move on over to the League Room designs and go through every single one as well. These ones are a lot more expensive than just changing your throwing style, so make sure that you know which one you like before you actually purchase it. Now before we actually change any of the designs, I feel like I should do a 360 walk around, just give you guys an overall view of the entire room. Some people probably don't even know what this really looks like. I honestly don't walk around it too much myself, but yeah, that's what it's gonna look like in its normal version. Now we can move on over to the natural version. So this is going to be the natural design. It's a lot more green, like an olive green. I feel like Katie would really like this room design. But over here in the corner, there's a lot more stuff. So there were treadmills here before. Now there's an oddish with a bunch of plants. This is a very floral room. Oh, there's a cool little bubble store. I don't know if that's like a pop or like a model or something. Oh, there's some fruits on the table. A lot of different stuff. Your speaker changes. That's cool. Uh, there's some stuff over on the wall here, and then I believe if we stand right here we can see an overall design of the entire room. Pretty good. You can also see the uh, sky background right there in the terrarium. And then if we didn't get a good look, there are some more picture frames over here on the side, and yeah, that's uh, basically it. Now let's take a look at the monochrome room. So one thing I didn't notice in the past room, and it probably did change as well, but the uh, Pokemon drawn on this board are different. So there's a Dino, there's a Blitzel, there's a Mincino, I'm pretty sure. I wanted to say Cincino, but I don't think that's Cincino. Oh, and there's a Mincino right here. So yeah, pretty much an overall uh, bleak room. It seems like your character also kind of gets hit with a little bit of that grayscale going on. So we have some bookshelves right here. We got a nice couch, a bunch of picture frames. We have a big TV. I don't know if we had a TV before, but did not notice it. We have the Blitzel right there. So we got one plant. Uh, the desk is obviously different. We have less fruits on the table. I think those are tomatoes. They kind of look like tomatoes. We have a Skarmory over here in the corner with some lockers. And now we actually have a giant picture frame that's actually connected over three pictures, which is really cool. Very nice design. By the way, if there's anything that you guys are noticing in these rooms that I'm not pointing out, definitely make sure to mention it in the comment section down below for anybody else to kind of get an idea. Next up, let's take a look at the fancy room. Now this is going to be the first type of room that you have to unlock. You're gonna unlock fancy and dark, so we'll take a look at dark right after this. So the fancy room looks like a very fairy-esque room. We got a Jigglypuff balloon right there. Uh, this board is new. We have Alolan Executor on there. I'm not entirely sure what that's pointing to. Uh, we have Rhyperior on the board, we got some Pokeballs over on the left hand side. Uh, the board, what does the board have? So the board has a Snubble, Slowpoke, and Swablu. So yeah, very much Fairy-esque slash Psychic. Okay, we have an Okremi over here on the left side. More Jigglypuff Balloons, no more Lockers. This is just going to be some Droyers. And uh, so we got some books on top there. We have a Calendar, or at least it looks like a Calendar over here. 
That probably isn't a calendar, but it kind of seems like it is. Hard to tell. There's like five days of the week on here. We have a nice floral arrangement over here, Plusle and Minon. A ton of slowpokes on the wall. That slowpoke is uh, biting that one's tail. And the speaker this time is yellow, like completely yellow. It looks like a tea set? Yeah, so... There's a tea set over here. I don't think there's a Sinistee hiding anywhere, just a tea set. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be the entire room design for Fancy. Fancy is uh, definitely a lot more pink than I expected it to be. Now we can take a look at something dark. I accidentally went back to the normal design, so I just wasted 300 blueberry points. Don't be me. Make sure not to misclick. We have a Venonat, a Zerua. Okay, that's cool. I really like the dark curtains. Oh, dude, the chandelier. Litwick, Lampant, and Chandelure. This is such a beautiful picture. I love that. One of my favorite Pokemon. We have a Zerua over here on the couch. Okay, we have a Bayonet on the wall with a... I don't know if that's supposed to reference somebody, but I don't recognize them. We have a Gothitelle over here, and my character just phased out too, so this is like a perfect screen cap for the vid. We have a Litwick over here next to some candles, love to see it. Uh, we do have what I think are lockers, or are those just like, I don't know, storage cabinets? Hard to tell. We have the Poltergeist right here. The speaker is gonna be black this time. And then what do we have over here on the board? So the board is pretty much the same, the Olin Executor. There's a Slugma under the furnace here, and we actually even have a furnace with a haunter right above in a picture frame. I just realized you can actually interact with a lot of these things too. I'm not sure if anything particularly happens, but that is kind of a cool feature. Anyways, so let's head on over to the next design. So we're gonna take a look at the classic room next. Upon closer inspection, it's just a map of the terrarium. Is it? There's a Geodude and a Sandshrew. I think that's a Lolan Sandshrew. A ton of Diglett on the board too. What do we have over here? We have a Drillbur. We have uh, a bunch of mining material. So this could also be known as like the study room or the fossil room. Man, the locker rooms now are just like, well, they're not even locker rooms. They're just a bunch of bookshelves. Sometimes when you interact with this, it'll tell you that they're lockers and you shouldn't touch them. In this case, it's just filled with a bunch of history books and just some more fossil paintings over here. Nothing too special. But yeah, overall, that's going to be the room for the uh, classic design. Next up, let's take a look at the futuristic design. I'm imagining this one's going to be similar because classic and futuristic are both viable from the same one. Okay, I was totally wrong about that. Everything's entirely different. For some reason, fancy and dark just have a little bit of overlap. I don't know what this is. It's an emblem made of cardboard. It's handmade, but it looks like the real deal. Yeah, it definitely does look like the real deal. Okay, so we actually got rid of the Elekid board over here, which I thought was consistent. This whole entire room is just re- Oh, that is so cool. Mecha Tyranitar Strikes Back, that is awesome. Honestly, I gotta imagine that we're gonna get some sort of futuristic Pokemon game at some point, and I'm pretty sure this is like a small teaser for that. I mean, probably not, but wouldn't that be cool? All right, so we have the lockers back. They definitely look futuristic. And I forgot to look at the desk here. We have a black speaker and a Porygon, and that's pretty much it. All right, so futuristic, I think that might be my favorite. We have one more to take a look at though. That's gonna be the gorgeous room. And in order to get access to the gorgeous room, you have to buy all of the other rooms as well. So the gorgeous room is, uh, wow, it's pretty shiny. Honestly, the floors, are they like reflecting? It seems like they're reflecting, but I can't see my own reflection. So we have this board back again, interesting. We have a shelter on the wall. Alolan Growlithe right there. Or no, sorry, that's his Swain Growlithe. Oh, we have a Ninetales. So we have a Poltergeist here, and I'm pretty sure I butchered the names earlier. They're so similar that I always just get them confused. Magikarp on the wall. Is that a Yanma? Looks like a Yanma. Looks like two Yanma. Hariyama as well. Kind of like the same Merle design. Honestly, this room doesn't have a lot going on. There's a Sentry here. I don't know if I pointed that out earlier. On the table, it's just another black speaker. And uh, yeah, you know, for 600 blueberry points, I don't actually love this one that much, but maybe you guys like it. Like the futuristic one is probably my favorite, so I'm gonna go back to that one. Yeah, this one's definitely the coolest in my opinion. It is so awesome. But yeah, you know, whichever one you guys like the most, let me know in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. If you guys are looking for some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc content, check out these two videos right here. But before you go, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all real soon in the next one.